Hey guys, Jonathan with Harvest Time Preppers and I'm um, getting ready to make a video. I just got done off the tractor and doing some work and I got kind of dirty as you can tell. So y'all pardon my clothes today um, as I just wanted to share with you all this information because a lot of people have been having questions about how I made the bucket and the parts on the bucket and all of those things. So if y'all can excuse my dirty shirt, I would appreciate it and just bear with me this time. And uh, maybe next time I'll find a clean shirt or I won't have just gotten off the tractor and got all greasy that day. So, all right, y'all be blessed and let's uh, talk about this bucket a little bit. Okay, so here we are at the parts table. And you can see I've got my pump um, that I got from Amazon. And just zoom in on that for you so you can see what brand I got. I believe it's a 3.7 cubic feet per minute, 3.6 uh, cubic feet per minute pump quarter horsepower and we just plug that in and um, it does a pretty good job um, ultimate vacuum is five or something like that so I've got my piece of vinyl tubing that I'll be using to connect the pump to the bucket <clears throat> handy dandy duct tape in case I need it my vacuum gauge that I just got this is a glycerin filled vacuum gauge that uh, we'll be attaching so I can tell how many pounds of vacuum that we're getting in the bucket uh, to vacuum the jars that we're going to be vacuuming today. So um, I've got my pair of crescent wrench. I'm sorry, not my crescent wrench, my uh, yeah, channel locks. I've got a quarter inch brass by two and a half inches long brass nipple. I've also got a brass T quarter inch of threaded on all sides show you how that's going to go together and then I've got my quarter inch um, hose barb and we're going to be putting all of that together so hopefully I can work this camera and show you how we're going to do all of this today and then we'll start vacuuming some jars okay y'all so I am back I'm going to sit down and see if this works out so now we need to attach all this stuff. How do we do that? Well, on my pump, there's a little hole right here, a little threaded hole. There was a fitting in there. And all I did when my pump came is I took my channel locks and I backed that fitting out. So just be careful with your pump. Um, some of them, you know, call the manufacturers because there's some people on the internet that say, hey, uh, my fitting screws directly into the pump. Well, yeah, it screws directly into the <laughs> into the pump. It's got to. But just make sure you're not going to break anything if you take that off to modify it. So that's what you want to check on. So what I've got here is I've got a quarter inch uh, diameter by two and a half inches long. It's called a brass nipple. So I'm just going to stick this in the hole. Okay? And I'm, that's going to give me a riser. It's going to lift everything up. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, that quarter inch T and I'm going to put it on sideways. Okay, let me move this up here so you can kind of see, maybe see better. So I'm going to put it on sideways like that. Okay, and I'm going to twist it so everything, so it's kind of facing, I want mine to face that way. Okay, now I'm going to take my glycerin filled uh, vacuum gauge now you don't have to use a vacuum gauge if you don't want to that's entirely up to you if you don't want to use the vacuum gauge you can just take this this threaded nipple here and screw it right down in this hole instead and just attach your vacuum hose to it I'm just curious as to how much vacuum pressure I'm getting because in some cases I may need to vacuum to a certain pound or to a certain pressure and I just I just want to know so nonetheless um, you can do it this way, or you can just do this this ho hose bar <clears throat> straight into where this threaded nipple is. So in this case, I'm going to put the hose bar on here. Okay, it's going to go right into this side. There we go. And I'm just doing everything finger tight right now. Okay, I usually would take my uh, crescent wrench and just a little bit of pressure. You really don't want to winch down on it. Just a little bit of pressure, just to tighten things up. So that's what I'm going to do there. So now that sticks out sideways like that, okay? And then I'm going to take my uh, vacuum gauge and I'm going to screw it right on the top, okay? Just get a little snug. And that's all I'm going to do. 
just for and, and I may tighten it down a little bit more in a little while I'm just kind of giving you the idea okay so now what happens is I put my quarter inch uh, vinyl tubing on here like that okay and then I'm going to run it to my can to my uh, uh, to my bucket okay and I've got a hose barb on the top of it let me show that to you a hose barb on the top of it that I drilled through with a half inch uh, drill bit and I put a castle nut on the bottom of it and I did silicone around the around the inside and on this side I just chose to use uh, uh, what you call it um, tub and tile caulk or something like that okay so that simply goes on here like so and then we put our uh, hose on that hose barb and then we turn our pump on you got to remove the cap because if you don't remove remove the cap we'll have problems so whenever I start vacuuming this down you'll see the gauge start to go up so now I'm at five and it's on its way to ten when I get to ten I'm pretty much going to stop it because that's all I really need to have there and you can see it's kind of leaking down a little bit because I don't have everything nice and tight. But listen to the bucket when I take the hose off. How about that? Okay. Good. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Uh, what I've got here is I've got the uh, pump set up with the gauge on it and my lid. And now I'm just going to use everyday jars that you may not be able to get your hand on mason jars or the lids or the seals or anything like that but this is just a little spaghetti sauce jar okay you can see here it's got the little clicker lid on it you can hear it whenever I press in on it so all I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna turn it on there finger tight and I'm gonna put it in the jar another spaghetti sauce jar with a lug, a lug uh, cap on it you can hear that finger tight uh, an apple jam jar you know you can you can hear that too that's not vacuum sealed I'm going to finger tight and stick it down here in the, in the uh, bucket as well. Another spaghetti sauce jar with the lug, uh, the lug cap. You can hear it. And then some. you may have access to these big pickle jars. Okay. I tell you what, this one, this one is from October of 1999. <laughs> My father-in-law gave it to us because he likes to save jars and such. He said, I don't need these anymore. I'm like, I'll take it. So... Nonetheless, we're just going to put this lug, this lug cap on there finger tight as well. So, Josh, you want to come over here real quick? And, and this is what the inside of my jar, look, my inside of my bucket looks like, okay? I've got five jars in there. I'm not doing one jar at a time. And they don't necessarily have to be mason jars. They don't have to be this with the seals and everything. Um, just as long as they have, they were sealed at one point, we can pretty much seal it all. So, I'm going to stick this on top of there, okay? Just give it a little push because remember, this creates a vacuum because it's got a gasket around the lid. And I'll show you, see how easy the lid comes on and off? I'm going to start the vacuum. Okay, so once this thing starts vacuuming, you'll see the, the gauge move a little bit, but now I can pick this whole thing up. Right, the lid doesn't even come off because of the vacuum that's on it. So I'm going to let this get up to about 10 here. You'll see it start smoking. That's just the oil coming out of the bump. Then I'm going to turn it off. Now listen, whenever I take the hose, off of the lid here, you'll hear it. You'll hear the vacuum. So that's all the air going back into the can, into the into the bucket. So now let's see if we got any good seals. Well, here's the one spaghetti sauce, remember? It's not clicking, let's see if it's sealed. Gave me a vacuum or not. Did y'all hear that? Pretty cool, huh? So here's the, the jelly jar, screw on lid. Let's see here. There you go, that one popped too. How about those spaghetti sauce? Ready? Oh, that one's sealed. And then we got another spaghetti sauce jar with a lug nut, a lug cap. And then how about this big pickle jar, right? Let's try this. <laughs> okay. Come on, Pops. For real. <laughs> okay, this ain't, this ain't no joke. There you go. There I don't know go. if y'all heard that or not. Uh, you heard the vacuum, right, Josh? Yes, sir. So nonetheless, guys, that's how I put together my, my vacuum bucket. 
And if you got any questions or comments, I'd love to love to hear from. Or if you've made one, I'd love to hear your experience as well. But also hit that like and subscribe and share this video for other folks because you never know when you may have to prep with just regular old jars, right? Nothing you can really find from the store. This is Jonathan with Harvest Time Preppers. Y'all have a blessed day.